In this video, I'm adding to my 2-Bit Crypto Exchange playlist on my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a trailing stop loss on the futures market. I'll also mention that I left a link for 2-Bit in the description of this video, as well as in the pinned comment down below. If you create an account using that link, you're going to get VIP Level 2 Trading Fee Discounts. This means you'll be saving over 30% on all your trading fees when you're trading futures, you'll save over 20% on all your trading fees when you're trading on the spot market. And that's for the lifetime of your account. You'll also be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Let's get into the video. You can see in my case here that I'm set to Bitcoin versus Tether for the pairing. And this will work perfectly fine for this demonstration. But before I set up a trailing stop loss, I'll have to get myself into a small position. So I'm just gonna come over here to the order panel and I'll go ahead and just do a tether size of 100 tether here. And I'll demonstrate with a long position. Betting on the price to go up. So I'm gonna click here on buy long. Looks good, so I'm gonna click on open long. Now I'm in my small long position. Now let's go ahead and set up a trailing stop loss for this long position. So we're gonna come down here, make sure we're set to positions. If you're not, just click on that. Then we're gonna come over here on the right hand side under TPSL, click here on add. Then you'll get this pop-up window right here. And what we'll do is we'll click right here where it says trailing TPSL. And in this window here, we can set up our trailing stop loss. Now right down here under take profit, is where we can choose our callback rate. You can see right now this box is currently set as a percentage. So if I was to type in 2%, that means that my trailing stop loss will be following behind price action by 2%. So if the price of Bitcoin was to fall by 2%, this trailing stop loss would get hit. If I was to do 5%, that means the trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 5%. So if the price of Bitcoin fell by 5%, this trailing stop loss would get hit. We can also come right over here to the percentage, give it a click, and we can also set this up as USDT. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now we can choose a delta. So for example, if I was to type in 500 USDT, this means that the trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 500 tether. So if the price of Bitcoin fell by 500 tether, this trailing stop loss would get hit. If I was to change the delta to 1000, this means that the trailing stop loss would follow behind price by 1000 tether. So if Bitcoin fell by 1000 tether, this trailing stop loss would get hit. You get the idea. Just for the purposes of demonstration, I'll go ahead and just use a thousand delta as my trailing stop loss. So once you have your trailing stop loss set up the way that you want it, just come down here, click on confirm. Now I've set that trailing stop loss. So if the price of Bitcoin was to move up from here like so, my stop loss will be following behind price action by 1000 tether. If at any point Bitcoin was to pull back by 1000 tether, it's going to hit that trailing stop loss and it's going to be taking me out of the position and hopefully in a profit when that time comes. If Bitcoin was to just suddenly dump from here by 1000 tether, the trailing stop loss would get hit and this position would get closed. You can find the details of your trailing stop loss if you come down here next to positions, click on open orders. Then click right here on TPSL. And here's where you'll be able to find your trailing stop loss. And if we come right over here, you'll be able to see the trailing stop loss right here. And of course, mine's activated. You'll be able to see your callback rate right here. So this is the trailing distance. And of course, I selected 1000 tether. If at any point you want to cancel your trailing stop loss, just come on over here and click on cancel. And there you have it. That's how you can set up a trailing stop loss on the futures market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.